Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today I'm going to talk about the World Cup, my predictions at this time. Obviously the 23 men ain't been announced. It can and possibly will change once the 23 has been announced. And as you know, I'll be doing a prediction every day in the World Cup. But at the minute, this is the way I believe it's going to go. All the groups are now up on the um, up on the screen. So I'm going to take it from the last 16 into the quarterfinals, into the semi-finals, into the final, and then obviously who I believe is going to win it. So the last 16 is the winner of. Uh, group 3 which is I've gone with France um, and then you've got the winner of D2 which uh, sorry the winner of D2 which is Croatia um, then you've got the winners of group 1 um, I've gone with the um, host Russia and I believe they'll get Spain in the next round in the last 16 um, I think that would be quite a good game if it does happen um, obviously this is just my opinion once the 23 has been announced and we're actually in the World Cup then you'll see my natural uh, predictions of the teams but at the minute this is just speculation and believe the way I think it's gonna go so the next one is uh, Argentina Denmark the likes of Leon Messi and uh, players alike I reckon they're gonna play Denmark in the last 16 uh, the likes of Kasper Michael. Um, and then obviously you see who I think will get through in my next bit. The next one I believe will happen is Portugal and Uruguay. Um, now Portugal, um, I do believe I'm going to have a strong competition. The likes of Ronaldo, um, Nani and teams alike, uh, players alike sorry the next one I've gone for is Brazil Sw uh, Sweden now um, I've heard that uh, Neymar went off in tears um, his game yesterday um, hopefully he's alright um, I'm still waiting to hear any updates. If you know any updates, please put it in the comments below. Um, but I reckon Brazil are pretty much going to go with the team of Neymar, Firmino, Coutinho and players like that. Obviously the England 23 will be on my channel. What I'm going to do with the England 23, I'm going to name what Southgate is taking to the World Cup. But what I would have took into the World Cup as well. So that could be a bit of a split opinion. Um, the next one is Belgium Poland. Uh, now I believe Belgium will win our group. Um, purely because they got the likes of the Kaku, the Groena, and yet again players alike. Um, I believe they will be on for a bit of a strong competition. Um, obviously, Lukaku scoring for United. Uh, De Bruyne can't stop scoring for City. Um, so, that's why I reckon Bash are going to have a strong competition. The next one is Germany versus Switzerland. Um, now I believe Germany will have a uh, another strong competition. Um, the likes of Brazil 
and all them yeah, again players alike. Um, so that's going to be quite an interesting um, tournament for Germany. The next one who I believe England will play is Japan versus England. Uh, the winners of Group H. Um, now I want to talk to you about this with England um, at the minute. A lot of teams are saying that we will, our future looks bright. How many of them players in the um, under 19, under 20s uh, squad will actually get picked for a proper England? This is where I say the FA needs to take some responsibility. Um, now if you look, we've got the likes of Harry Kane, John Stones, Cahill. As far as I'm concerned, we should take the young players out there. Even though they don't play, they get experience of a World Cup, of a major competition. So that be my opinion, but you see more of that when I do my 23-man squad, who I would have took to the World Cup. So now we're on to the quarterfinals. The next one, first quarterfinal, is France-Argentina. If this game does happen, I will be fair. I will be looking forward to watching that game. Um, obviously, the likes of Paul Pogba and that for France, and as I've already said, for what for the Argentina squad, I believe this way the competition is going to heat up um, going into the final stages. Now, the winner of uh, now the second quarter final is Russia versus Portugal um, that I believe is going to happen now I believe Russia will be Spain even though how unlikely that sounds I believe because they're the home nation um, especially the players that play in Russia are going to be used to like the heat or the cold or whatever they're going to get over there um, Fans, if you are going out there, look after yourself, enjoy your time, and I wish you a safe journey there and back. Um, the next one, court final I've gone with is Brazil versus Germany. Um, now, yet yeah, again, I believe that would be a good game to watch. Um, now, um, With that game, yeah, again, you guys see my prediction uh, actually on the game day itself if it does happen. Now, the next one, we have to play our group winners if we come second, which I believe, and I've already said, I believe it will be Belgium. Now, as an England point of view, we always get knocked out in the quarterfinals. I believe our problem is, as I've already touched on the light, we're not bringing enough young players through. The FA ain't pushing the clubs hard enough, I believe. Uh, if you look at all the top clubs, um, I'm saying like United and Chelsea, well, there's hardly an England player in sight. Um, this is where I... With England, I do believe that the FA have got to, take, got to take some responsibility for what's going on with England and stop blaming on the manager. I mean, in the past five years, we've had Roy Hutchinson, we've had um, we've had the last of Spain going out, so I know that's a bit further back. And managers are like, when's the FA going to stop blaming the managers and the FA step up, start taking some responsibility? You're in charge of the national team. Well, you know, you know what I mean. You can push the Premier League to bring some of our homegrown pl players up, English born and bred, with the English flag that they could qualify for. 
um, as I said, you will see my 23 man squad later once Gareth Southgate's named these 23. Now, the semi final, and if this really does happen, oh, I'm going to enjoy it, um, is France versus Brazil. Um, and then my second quarter final is Portugal versus Belgium. Um, and I, yeah, again, two great semi finals. That means the final I believe will happen is Brazil versus Portugal at this point in time. As I said, when their teams get announced, my opinion might change slight, but you'll see right in the match predictions anyway. This one I'm doing it now so I can forget what I've written down, clear mind for the prediction video. Um, so that that's fair on both sets of teams. Um, and then I believe the winners will be Brazil. Um, yeah, as I said, the likes of uh, Coutinho, Firmino, uh, Neymar if he's fit. So that's my prediction for the World Cup. Um, guys, that's the end of the video. Guys, you know what to do by now. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.